Hello and welcome back to Q Sky. Before we get started, I just want to say a few things. One, I would like to apologize for the delay in the judgment series. Each episode takes a really, really long time to do. Um, I've obviously got to write the script and then, you know, that goes back and forth between me and Wolfgirl so we can get it all right and then I've got to actually go in and record the footage and then edit it and then add Foley and make sure it's right, adjust light settings and editing and everything else it takes a very long time and obviously i am doing it in my spare time so i do apologize that it's been delayed and i've also got the making of which i'm running alongside it that's taking a while to process because there's a lot going on so again i do apologize for the delay but it is coming um i am still working very hard on it and uh, hopefully it'll be up soon the other thing that's delaying it is as well my tokyo university asset collection that i'm doing um, I'm currently halfway through building number three, so it's taken a long time. There's roughly going to be about 17 overall structures in the set that goes from buildings to plazas and parks to a few props I might do here and there. So it's going to be quite a large set, but that will work with the campus DLC system as well as with vanilla as well. So it'll be released twice. Uh, the vanilla versions will just be individual buildings released on the workshop as universities or parks or whatever they are and then there'll be the pack which will be for campus now to start off with that will be released only to my patreons um, and then eventually it will obviously be released to the public at a much later date talking of patreons thank you very much for your support it's greatly appreciated and every little bit helps me be able to put more effort and time into this and uh, produce hopefully a higher quality of work okay so on with the show as they say um so back into kusha guy today we're working on this little park area so i've got this little area next to the river and i wanted to make it more of a destination point so someone you want to come and go got a few things in there temples as always because you know how i love my temples and this lovely sort of cave asset that I found on the workshop it is absolutely amazing. I'm really sorry. I can't remember who made it, um, but I will see if I can find it and link it in the description if I remember. If I don't, I do apologise, but I am quite hard at work at the moment, so I do apologise. But yeah, it looks absolutely amazing and it really fits this section very well. And it kind of gives it like a little feature to this side of the river. Because this part's going to go across the river as you saw me lay that bridge down. And on the other side, we're going to build some more stuff. And man, I'm well happy with the way this turned out. It just works. It looks gorgeous. It fits into the whole area. It doesn't look out of place. And people visit it, which is the best bit about it. And you'll see that in the cinematics as well. People actually come. Now, I don't PO any of these buildings. One, because some of them can't be PO'd. Or they just disappear if I do, um, which is annoying. But unfortunately happens, sub buildings and all that asset creation it's mind-boggling but there's a lot going on so what i have to end up doing is i put the path down and then underneath i put an invisible road that's going to connect everything together and then i'm going to put some garbage service cubes uh hidden in the rocks and stuff like that so trucks will come out and service the area get rid of all the garbage and that's it that's all that will come down to this place here because these aren't homes there tourist destinations and stuff like that so at least it all works and everyone gets uh, serviced
one thing I really like doing is these little ponds and these water features. They look so amazing when they're together. I just use a load of different assets. So I use these little pipe assets, which obviously construction, change the color of them using PO, and then all of a sudden their pipes are embedded in the rock, and then the water can come flowing out of them using those lovely animated waterfall assets because they're amazing. And then obviously some PO on them as well to make it look like it's rolling down the rock face. And hey presto, it just looks so good and those assets are fantastic, they work perfectly and the best thing about them is being able to PO them and not lose any animation. The whole animation stays which is just absolutely fantastic for detailers and everyone alike. It just really helps and enables us to do a lot more with what we visioned and what we actually want to produce. As you can see, I do play a lot about with these to get the right effect. So I want the big splash back at the bottom and I want the river to run down the rocks and stuff. You know, it takes a long time to PO mess about. I did cut a massive chunk of it out where I fail a lot, but you know, that's all the fun, isn't it? Okay, so that's the park done, and now I'm going to move on to a different area across the road just to fill that in, and we're going to add in some farmland. Now, this is actually going to function as a farm, and it's going to end up connecting to a much bigger farmland throughout the whole city or the outskirts of the city, where you'll have some here, some there, animals there, rice fields there, etc. So it's all spread apart, but it's one big industrial area that's actually going to function correctly, and you know. In this episode, I'm doing a lot. I'm doing about three different areas, so we're going to be moving around, but you know, I need to fill these spaces up. And what I actually produce, I'm really happy with, and it fills in the massive area. This functions, which is great. This farmland that I'm building now, it looks like it's nothing. I'll have a few props here and there, but I'm going to incorporate some actual farm assets in there from the industries DLC and it's gonna function and it just works so nicely. Traffic isn't too bad. It's a little crazy to start with because you know warehouses and silos just generate traffic, but after a while it kind of calms down as it starts spreading across the city. In later episodes, you'll see me build more to this throughout the whole city in the outskirts, but you know, and then traffic becomes a bit more of an issue. But to start with, it's absolutely fine and I'm really, really happy with the way this turns out.
Okay, so the farmland is now done. Uh, well, the start of the farmland for this episode. I am going to do a lot more, as I did say. And now we're going to come back onto the other side of the road again. And we're going to build this nice little temple grounds. I love this building. I think it's really well done. And I really wanted to make it fit. Unfortunately, you know, due to the constraints I had in the ground, it doesn't really fit. But I'm still going to use it. And you're going to see what I do. I'm just going to make it work. It's going to come out into the river and it just looks absolutely great and it works and it's so pretty and i'm really really happy with it when it's all done you will see it at the end there so what i'm doing is i'm just grabbing a retaining wall to kind of cover up the fact that it floats or hovers above the water so it's just going to make it look like we actually built it in and the water's going around it what i do end up doing is you don't see it on camera I end up putting some big water pipes that go underneath it so the water doesn't get obstructed, doesn't have to hit the side and go round. It's going to flow through underneath the building through these giant pipes um, and keep the water flowing. Obviously, you don't see me do that on camera because for some reason, don't know why, smart head here, clever clocks, whatever you want to call me, decided to stop recording and then came up with the idea and forgot to press play again or record. Why would I press play? I would definitely press record. Anyway. Neither here or there. Um, so unfortunately you don't see me do that. And you know, it works and it functions. So that's all I ever ask for, to be honest with you. I just always say that. I always say, oh, it functions. I'm building a detailed Japanese city. Function isn't really too important for me. Um, as long as, you know, people still come into the city. Another thing I want to address, because I've, it's been mentioned to me in the comments, is my demand for residential. Now that is something I am going to go in and sort. I've got some residential cubes that I'm just going to plop around inside buildings to create more residential and get people in. But I'm also building a lot of residential. I'm starting to work on an episode that's going to be quite far away now. Basically, it's going to be a mass expansion and I'm just going to do a whole area of plopping buildings down. You're not going to see all of it, so don't worry. I'm going to skip a big chunk of it and do a nice little animation, you know, slide, swipe or whatever. Um, of the actual buildings being put down so you don't have to worry you don't have to sit through me just plop 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 but you will see the final result and the before result so hopefully it works and then we're going to go in and detail that another thing i'd love to mention is that i've got alongside this series i'm also going to be working on something else so another project I'm working on is called Project UK Oxworth and it's basically just a little series that I'm doing for fun where I'm just going to build a really highly detailed uh, English sort of village as it were. A couple of villages, a couple of small towns within this whole county um, and it's just going to be fun. Just something I'm doing alongside to give me a break from this and the hard work of judgement and everything else in real life something to just jump on to so expect episode one very soon i'm going to record the voiceovers later on today for that so it could be within the next couple of weeks it's a bit of fun this is still my main series and this is where my focus is and then this goes on to judgment after that and then oxworth after that so that's how it's going to go so it depends on how much i get done on each series depending on which one i release first at the moment you will continuously get kush guy so that is what i'm really focusing on as well as judgment so that will be coming very soon and then Oxworth probably in about a month I reckon I might release that maybe sooner my patrons will get that probably later on today I reckon so I'm just going to kind of go up there stick on my patreon ready to go get some feedback on it and then we'll go from there I'm going to go back in now and continue to build this little temple area and I'll be back in a moment
Okay, so the cinematic is coming up very, very soon. I really hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I did making it. I enjoy making it. Every single episode is great fun, and I hope it never ends, whether it be this series or my new series or another series later on in the future. If you're new to my channel, please consider pressing subscribe and tip the bell notification icon so you get notified every time I release new content to my channel. Also, feel free to go check out my Patreon. Your support would be greatly appreciated. I've got new episodes going up there ahead of schedule. When I remember, I have forgotten a few times, but I'm going to make it up to you with my new series, so hopefully that will, uh, will help. Also, I've got some new assets up there as well, which you'll get to see and download before anyone else does on the workshop as well as some exclusives as well. It's worth going to check out, and like I said, your support is greatly appreciated, and it helps me out a huge amount. If you're a regular to my channel, please comment, like, and all that nice stuff, and have some fun. I love to read your comments, and I love to respond to them. It's great. And again, guys, I really hope you've really enjoyed this. I have had fun, and I will see you next week. And thank you very much once again to all my patrons. Have a good one.